Hey guys, Joyce and Anthony, aka JJ here, and in this video, I'm gonna go step by step on how to rig a 2D character with the grease pencil. I'm using version Blender 3.1 Alpha. Before I get started drawing my character with grease pencil, I need to turn on Rigify. So to do that, I go to Edit, Preferences, and then make sure I'm in the add-ons. And I need to type in just like a couple letters, R, I, and let me see if I can find it. Okay, and there it is. So I need to turn that on. Now that I have Rigify turned on, I'm gonna start my sketch with the grease pencil. So Shift A, grease pencil, and then blank. For me, when I'm drawing with the grease pencil, I like to go to overlays and turn on the canvas. It's just personal preference. And I just wanna show you, this is my reference image that I'm using. Now I'm ready to start drawing and I want my drawing to be symmetrical. So I'm gonna turn on the mirror modifier. Now I'm fast forwarding to show you, this is my finished inking, I call it inking sketch. So now I'm going to lower the opacity of her and redraw it, but I'm going to have separate layers for the head, for the arms, etc. It's easier when I'm ready to start rigging. I wanted to play around with dimensions, so I selected the center of her head and then at the top I selected proportional editing. And in the back, I tried to give her like this interesting bun. Now I'm going to adjust her so that her feet are at the origin point. Now I'm ready to apply the rig. So with my grease pencil selected, I did Shift A Armature Basic, basic Human Meta Rig. In the Object Data Properties tab, under Viewport Display, where it says Display As, you have five different options in case you don't like the default. Now that I think that my meta rig is pretty much lined up, I'm gonna go back to the object data properties tab and click generate rig. Remember when I was sketching and I turned on the mirror modifier? I'm gonna go back and apply it. So hopefully, you know, it won't affect anything when I'm trying to rig. 
Now that I've done that, I need to parent the grease pencil to the rig. So by pressing Command P, armature to form with empty groups. This process is kind of tedious, but eh, eh you gotta do what you gotta do. With the rig selected, I now go to the Object Data Properties tab and I scroll down to the bottom to the Vertex Groups. Do you see the list of body parts? So now I need to match the, these body parts with my drawing. So I need to go to Weight Paint. Okay, the first one is spine. So remember when I went in and I made every body part a separate layer? I did that specifically for this part. So I'm gonna go in and take out the rest of the body parts. So just to make sure that when I'm doing the spine, I don't accidentally, you know, select the arms or the legs or the head or anything like that. Okay, so off camera, I was playing a lot with it and I did not like my pose and I wanted to actually reset it back to the rest position. To do that, make sure you're in pose mode and then select A. And then you hit Alt-R to reset all the rotations, Alt-G to reset the translations and Alt-S to reset all the scales. But I have a Mac, so if you do that, you're going to use Option instead of Alt. And I wanna show you guys a mistake I made when I must have weight painted. See when I move my character down, you see those lines that don't move with it? When I was weight painting, I must have missed that when I was drawing the hands. And then I have that same problem when I uh, move the feet. So right now I wanted to play around with it and make an animation of her like bending down and then jumping like Superman into the air. And here is my animation with Gabriella as Superman. As you can see, I should have done a better job when I was weight painting. That's good to know when I do this again. Thank you guys so much for watching as we rigged a 2D character with the grease pencil. This is Joyce and Anthony, aka JJ. Until next time.